everybody, this is Praxis, and today's been kind of a weird and eventful day. Uh, it started off when I got here this morning, and I was a little surprised to see the site work people here. They're usually not here as early as I arrive. Uh, and I, I guess I found it fairly distracting because I got out of the car and I left my keys in the car, and you probably know the end of that story. So it took me about an hour to get back into the car. I used uh, a pry bar and a bent old, um, actually, one of the, uh, the long poles, the big blue poles I was using to roll on uh, the asphalt tar onto that thing. They, one of them was kind of, you know, old and broke. I don't know. You know, actually, I didn't use the broken one. <laughs> well, I took one of them and I, I bent it and I was able to, you know, get the car unlocked. And it took about an hour. Uh, you know, I, I needed to do that first, though, because there were dump trucks coming and I needed to make sure I could get the car out of the way because I had also parked right in the driveway area. So... Took care of that uh, for the, the morning uh, and then jumped on to doing actual work. And it's been a little bit challenging. Uh, Josh has been working doing more of these little spacer boards in here. And I've been working on getting this uh, little header for the, uh, the greenhouse roof all bolted down. Uh, it's using these large uh, lag screws up here. You see them partially stuck out. I, I haven't sunk them all the way. I just kind of got them started. Uh, and those go in eight inches and the the thickness of the wood is 11 and 3 quarters inches and the threaded rod that I want to put through on the bottom it really makes financial sense and like Yankee thrift sense to use foot long pieces uh, I, instead of like you can buy these in three foot long lengths and then like I guess I could cut two out of that and have an enormous amount of scrap left over I don't want to do that, uh, so I've been trying to make foot-long lengths of this stuff go through uh, and, and work for something that's 11 and 3 quarters inches thick, and that seems like, kind of obvious, like that should work out just fine, no worries about that, because, uh, you know, 12 is bigger than 11 and 3 quarters, but, you know, there's always a little bit of air space here and there, things have a little bit of extra thickness, and also you have to account for the thickness of the washer on both ends, and the washers are pretty hefty washers, and you have to have enough of, uh, of this threaded rod sticking out on either end for you to get a, um, a nut onto it. Once you actually get the nuts engaged onto either side is no big thing because they just squeeze the boards down, they, they dent it in, and it works out really great. It's like the perfect length because so you don't have a bunch of extra sticking out. So it works out great, but it's, I've been really having a fight to get these guys through. The tools that I've been using is this. I've got a, a one foot long uh, sort of uh, drill bit that I, I use to put a hole straight through the whole uh, entire wall. Once, and this barely makes it, because this is a foot long, and it's 11 and 3 quarters inch thickness, so it just barely gets out. Then I take a larger bit, and I uh, bore it from either side, and, uh, you know, and that gives me the, the thickness for this to go through. It's a tight fit, though, so I'm also using sledgehammers to get it through. Uh, before I hit the end of this with a sledgehammer, I'm making sure I put the nut on first. I slide it in, put, well, I, I slide it in kind of bang it in uh, with, with the nut on first. And the reason I put the nut on first when I'm banging is if I happen to deform the end or anything like that, I don't want to have trouble getting a nut on afterwards. So I get the nut on, and then I do the whaling away, get the thing through, and then through a, a kind of a process of back and forth, grabbing and grabbing, uh, tapping it back and forth, I'm able to get both nuts engaged. And once both nuts are engaged, I can squeeze the whole thing together. But I've been having a fight for every single one. It's like two o'clock, I've been here since eight in the morning. And what I have to show for it is a car that I can actually get into now. Two of these are put in. All the holes are basically uh, uh, drilled, and the lags are in. That's not a lot for a day's work. It's one, not one of those days where I stand back and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Um, but, you know, not all days can be like that. Uh, we had a storm come through last night. It wasn't working here uh, yesterday and didn't have much damage from it. The pile of foam behind you is the only thing where some foam blew off put some weights on it but the weights got blown off but other than that things worked out pretty well we got our roofing uh, material delivered in a weird way they kind of scattered it everywhere they took it off of the pallets and it, some of it's damaged and they may or may not have driven uh, over our septic outlet line and cracked it we have to investigate that we'll see about that but uh it's overall been kind of a weird day but you know piece by piece step by step we're getting it together and every bolt I put in is a bolt I don't have to put in again. That's it. Thanks for watching.